guys, this episode we're gonna be talking about the Ensure keyword in Ruby and how you can use it for some pretty useful stuff in your Ruby applications, your libraries, and your Rails application code as well. So let's take a look at an example block here. So we have a begin, we can put begin inside of it. Um, I'm sure you're familiar with rescue. This will rescue from exceptions that are raised inside of that block for begin. Um, it's gonna do standard error by default. So we can say puts rescue here. We can also do an else, which you may or may not uh, be familiar with. This is going to run whenever there are no exceptions. So it's kind of the else of the rescue clause. And then there's also ensure, which is going to run no matter what, if there was an exception raised or not. So what we should see here is when we run this, begin will run. Uh, it will run puts begin, and then we'll run the else puts else, ensure puts ensure. So let's run that in our terminal. And we will see begin else ensure, which is what we expect. If we raise an exception inside of begin, what we'll see is begin rescue ensure, and ensure runs in either case, um, just like begin does. So this is a really useful pattern. The common example that you will see is like file.open. You try and write to a file, 